This course is designed to help satisfy the HAZMAT function-specific training requirements, 49 CFR 172.704, regarding HAZMAT packaging. After completing this course, you will be able to identify the manufacturer's markings on a HAZMAT packaging and describe what each code means and explain how to select appropriate HAZMAT packaging. The way a hazmat is packaged can have a significant impact on how safely the material can be transported in commerce. Packagings can be any container authorized by the regulations to contain hazmat, including boxes, drums, cylinders, portable tanks, intermediate bulk containers, and cargo tanks. The Research and Special Programs Administration, the predecessor to FIMSA, established very specific requirements for all bulk and non-bulk packagings. Unless otherwise stated or exceptions are authorized, the packaging requirements are the same for all modes of transport. While most of the non-bulk requirements are based on the UN recommendations, the regulations do contain some provisions that are only applicable to domestic transport. That means compliance with the provisions will not guarantee acceptance by regulatory bodies outside the United States. The responsibility for packaging a hazmat rests with the individual offering the material for transport. Click on the buttons below to learn more about these responsibilities. You must click on each button to continue.